What's going on guys? I'm so excited to go for my first swim in over three months after the lockdown. In this video, I'm gonna overview what my open water swim is gonna look like, the different equipment I'm gonna use, and of course, some different open water swimming tips for all my beginners out there. Let's go. The most important thing for a beginner open water swimmer is safety. And my first piece of advice for a beginner open water swimmer is to survey the scene. That means taking a look at the water, whether it's a lake, pond, ocean, whatever it is, figure out where you're gonna get in, where you're gonna exit, and what the environment looks like. If there's any boat traffic, a current, any other swimmers that are out there, kayakers, watercraft, it's really important to understand all those different things. And make sure you map it out. If you have a spotter or someone that's gonna follow you on a kayak or a paddleboard, make sure they understand this with you. And just take a look and enjoy the view, but also be safe. My second tip for beginner open water swimmers is to have a plan. Don't just go out and swim in the water and hope, hope for the best. It's really important to figure out exactly how far you're gonna swim, whether it's to buoys or you have a preset route, and make sure you communicate that with your spotter or any other open water swimmers that you're going out in the water. But it's super important to have a plan and make sure you stick with it. Now my third tip for beginner open water swimmers is to have a spotter, whether that's someone following you on a kayak or a stand-up paddle board. Even if you have an open water buoy, it's really, really important to make sure that you have someone with you you can communicate with. Maybe they can have uh, fluids or any kind of hydration or replenishment for you. So it's really important to get a kayak or a spotter, someone to watch you and go along with the journey on you. My fourth tip is to make sure you have the right gear. That of course means your goggles have a cap so that way you're visible out in the open water to other swimmers and other watercraft. It's really important if it's cold that you have a wetsuit, it helps with buoyancy. It's not required, definitely a big bonus. If you have one of those open water buoys, you can also be visible with the boats and watercraft, but also store some things. So if you have any energy supplements or maybe you don't wanna leave your stuff on the beach or on the shoreline, and you can actually put those inside of the open water buoy. Now my fifth and final tip for the beginner open water swimmer is to make sure you do a dynamic warm up before you even get in the water. You know, the water can be really cold and can actually be shocking to all of a sudden just have to swim. And if you remember in open water, you don't have the opportunity to just stand and push off the wall every 25 meters. So it's really important to get your heart rate acclimated, do dynamic stretches with your arms, midsection and your lower body to get your body activated both mentally and physically before you get into the open water. Woo! It felt so good to get back in the water. It's been ages checking out the watch. It looks like we did just over 1,700 meters, about a mile. Uh, our course was actually pretty simple. Looking out into the water, we swam and stayed close to the shoreline. There's a sailing club that we decided to wrap around. Then we did a couple laps back and forth. The water was a little chilly. Happy I had a wetsuit, but definitely not needed. A few other pro tips. Uh, don't worry about how far you go or how fast you swim. If you have a smart watch, it's great like I did with the Apple Watch to record your GPS distance. If you don't have a watch, no problem. Don't worry about your distance or your pace. Just enjoy the open water. Make sure you're staying safe. Mix up your strokes. Work on sighting. Make sure you have good technique. Apply all of those things, and most importantly, have fun. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big like. Subscribe to My Swim Pro on social media, all of our channels, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And make sure you stay tuned because we're going to be releasing a ton of awesome open water content on this channel across all of our different media outlets, how you can improve your performance and health both in and out of the water. Until next time.